Lord of the Rings Return to Moria is an upcoming single-player and online co-op survival crafting game, set in the fourth age of Middle-earth. Going by the literature, this slots the story right after the events of the War of the Ring, which includes both the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings eras, respectively. With Arnor and Gondor restored and returned to their rightful heirs, the compass will finally drift back towards Moria, an underground mining network that, prior to the events of the, the Fellowship of the Ring, belonged to the dwarves. Going by what's been said to date, players will have the opportunity to delve into the lives of the tenacious dwarves, as they return to their homeland of Moria and look to reclaim it from the evil clutches of the orcs. As one of said dwarves, you will be entrusted with the task of not only rebuilding the three peaks of Moria, but fending off the shadows that threaten to reduce your progress to ash and rubble. The fourth age of Middle-earth has commenced. Lord Gimli Lockbearer, the axe-wielding hero, has raised a banner to unite the dwarves for one final quest. Return to Moria, and take the peaks of Khazad dumb back from the dreaded orcs that lurk within. Set in a procedurally generated dwarven realm of Moria, no two adventures will be alike, and every expedition is traversable, either solo or online with companions. Players can mine to craft greater gear and resources, but beware mining makes noise, and noise created in the quiet deep threatens to awaken the dangers, where there's clatter, there's combat, excavate the mysteries of three legendary mountains, extract precious metals, scrape to survive, and battle unspeakable forces to learn the secret of the shadow that lurks within. Return to Moria will give you the opportunity to create your own character and delve into some of Middle-earth's most iconic locations, either alone, or with a team of up to eight other dwarves by your side. As a unit, you will be tasked with seeking out the vast treasures that bathe within, and reconstructing your homeland from the rubble up. How you go about doing this, of course, will depend entirely on the actions you take, and the sacrifices you're willing to make. Return to Moria will feature a wide selection of procedurally generated maps for you to explore. Set entirely in the network that is the Mines of Moria, you will divide your time between scavenging for resources in the dark, battling the armies that stalk from the shadows, and learning how to survive the chilling climate of an underground world. What's more, you'll also need to manage their sleep, temperature and noise levels, presumably to halt the invaders from catching on to your plot to rebuild Moria. To survive the treacherous mines of Moria, players must conserve resources, hunt and gather for food, and manage their sleep, temperature and noise levels. Utilize dynamic light systems for safety, and to blaze a path further into the darkness. Battle unspeakable evils and survive hordes of monstrous orcs in visceral combat, while uncovering the secret of the shadow that looms within the mountain. Free Range Games, a studio best known for its contributions to both the Callisto Protocol and Oddworld Soulstorm, first announced its plans to bring Return to Moria to consoles and PC back in June 2022 at the Epic Games Summer Showcase. The Lord of the Rings Return to Moria will be shaping up for a Fall 2023 release on Xbox Series, PlayStation 5, and PC via the Epic Games Store.